Hi, I'm Andrew Ford from Social Star, and I'm so much looking forward to talking to you on the Online Prosperity Show. It's a great opportunity for me to share a little bit of my knowledge and story on being an entrepreneur and my corporate escapee journey of leaving a corporate job in order to start my business, to basically spend more time with my kids and have a lifestyle that I really wanted. I hope you enjoy the show and feel free to get in touch with me through LinkedIn or social media or any of the channels. Thank you. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've brought Andrew Ford himself. Andrew, how are you doing, my man? Extra good today. Now I'm talking to you, Prosper. I'm so much better. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for making the time. Now, um, if you're watching the show right now, um, you might be going through a phase whereby you really want to start your own gig, but you're not quite sure where to start. You might be working in a corporate environment as we speak and, um, you know, or you're looking to increase your side gig so that you can create for yourself a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Half the time it's very nerve wracking. Half the time you don't quite know where to start. And that's the reason why we've brought in Andrew, who's got a world of experience when it comes to personal branding and creating a powerful brand for people that really want to, um, you know, create a business that's uh, profitable and enjoyable there. So they help motivate, um, you know, experienced professionals, maybe like yourself right now, to actually start your own business using digital marketing strategies and powerful personal branding. Now, thank you so much, Andrew, for that. Tell us a little bit about your story and how, um, you know, Social Star came about. Great. So I was working in corporate for uh, 20 years, like most professionals of my era. You, you leave school, you go to university, and of course, you get a job. So I worked at big companies like Hewlett Packard and IBM and Telstra. Um, and what I found was that it was great at the start. You know, it was big buildings and lots of trips and they pay you well. But after a while, you realize that the work doesn't have quite the meaning and the value match that people are looking for these days. So it wasn't as fulfilling as I thought it would be. And I looked at the people in the office who were, you know, 20 years my senior, and I just saw them being gray. They just, they hadn't fulfilled their potential. They hadn't risked things. They hadn't gone out and really lived their life. You know, Helen Keller says, you know, life's a daring adventure or nothing at all. And I wanted a bit more daring adventure. So I did what a lot of people do and I started a side hustle. So Social Star came about because I was early, early on into digital marketing. So I started digital marketing 10 years ago. And people started asking me my advice because it was all brand new. And then I thought, well, I should charge for this advice. And so I started to become a consultant. And at the time in Melbourne, I was a consultant for essentially celebrities and high profile people because there weren't many people like me. And then after a few years of doing that, I was really enjoying it. It was growing as a business. We were making good money, but I was still working full time. And then I really wanted to leave work, but they paid me so well. It was so hard to leave. And then, and then one day my boss came in and we had this huge argument and I went, that's it. And I just walked, I walked out and started my business the next day. So not, not the best way to do it, but at least I'm prepared by having a, you know, a business on the side. Absolutely. So obviously you've had, thank you so much for, you know, uh, your story, by the way there, Andrew. So obviously you would have had um, all that experience and you did come up with something that um, a lot of people are going through right now, the whole sense of fulfillment with whatever it is that you're doing and also the yearning for um, adventure. So is that the sort of, uh, position that a lot of people that are coming to you are hoping to achieve for themselves, um, you know, so that they can, um, you know, start that business and, and, and get those um, things that you're talking about. A hundred percent. So there's, there's a couple of different reasons why people come to us. The first is they've lost their job. So they've been working for a lot of years and suddenly they're out of work and they're, they're like, wow, I'm not sure what to do now. I had a, had a client recently who came to me after 30 years at IBM never came in as a graduate has never worked anywhere else and they don't know what to do. So what we do is we work with them to understand firstly, what they're passionate about, what they want their legacy to be, what their values are, where they are in their life stage so that we can advise them appropriately 
if they want to go back into work, which is okay, and do a side business, or whether they should start a business. And I kid you not, 95% of people want to start a business themselves because then you're forming a business around your life, not squishing your life into a business. Because really, the ultimate goal is control of your time. Time freedom is freedom. So everyone's got the same amount of time, but how you choose to spend your time is the ultimate goal. And when you're working for somebody, you do not have that. They tell you where to be, when, how to do it, when to take a holiday and all those details. So for me, the catalyst for change was really me having kids. Because having two little kids, I wanted to decide when I saw them and when I went to the sports carnival and when I could drop them off at school without going to the office, you know, late in the morning, getting the daggers for all the people of why you're late or, you know, your manager going, why are you leaving at 4.30? And I'm like, well, I want to take my son to swimming. And, you know, I wanted that control. So that was the right decision for me. And for most of my clients, they choose to go down that path because the only reason they haven't done it before is they didn't know how. Understandable. Yeah, because if somebody would have known how to escape the humdrum, they would definitely have escaped. Do you find that also fear could be one of the things that your customers, you know, may be going through right now, not knowing how to go about it and what it is to expect. Because like you say, this client had 30 years in IBM, so they don't know exactly what it is to do. Do you help them overcome that, you know, by doing some of the work for them or do you just show them how it's done and let them off on their way? No, we actually, it's a full comprehensive do for you service. So what we're doing in the process is we're coaching them, we're providing the strategy, we're working with them step by step to come up with what is their value proposition, how do they communicate it, where do they communicate it, you know, we build them the social media, we build them the websites, we take their photo, we put it on LinkedIn, we write their biography, we do all of the different steps and then at the end we teach them how to sell. Because even if they've sold, if they're the salesperson at IBM or at some other company, They've never sold themselves. And that's a very different value proposition. Because if I'm from IBM, I call up and say, hi, I'm from IBM, can I come see you? They go, sure. But when you don't have IBM behind you and it's just Andrew Ford and no one's ever heard of you before, you don't get that point for free, right? And also if they reject you, that's a personal rejection, not I, I'm not interested in buying another server today. So it's a very different and more personal approach and we have to coach them through that process. Understandable. You did raise a really valid point there because once you've built their assets and maybe it's a website or whatever, um, you know, uh, you know, LinkedIn profile, you know, it's, it's not going to constitute that build it and they will come because people buy from those that they know like and trust. Now, could you just, you know, walk us through why it's very important to have a personal brand? Yeah, great. So the difference is this thing that we've got called e-traction. So that's, that's our marketing model. That's our 12 step process. And e-traction is creating digital attraction. So that means people come to you and you don't have to go on cold call to find them because the truth is no one wants to make a cold call and no one wants to receive a cold call. They're redundant. You don't need to do it anymore. It doesn't mean you don't have to talk to clients. It's the fact that we warm them up first. And what we teach people is our sales model is we initiate contact and then we let them come to us through a digital funnel, but it's not a digital funnel that is broad scale. It's very niche. So the whole purpose of attraction is to go out to a niche set of customers, provide them immense value so that they want to talk to you but understanding it's a process. They're not going to buy straight away. You've got to nurture them and warm them up to form the trust. You're exactly right. No like and trust. That is a process and we've mapped that process and we create the steps in that process with their brand. And so when we do that, they find that they get customers easily and they start to enjoy their job because the main thing they have to do is deliver the work, not actually worry so much about their sales and marketing. 
Understandable. So you did mention um, your e-traction, um, you know, system, you know, is <clears throat> literally getting people to know what it is that they're selling, who they're selling it to, and why people should care to get it from them, um, you know, as the brand. Now, there's a lot of opportunities that rock up. You Once you are working as your own person, you have to be the janitor, you have to be the CEO of the business, you have to be, um, you know, the, 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 the person that writes out all the letters. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And um, hopefully with your, um, you know, done for you packages, you will be helping them with other aspects of the work. So what does the coaching then involve? What is it that you will be, um, you know, teaching them to actually achieve within their business uh, since you're doing it for them already? Yeah, sure. So, so the process goes for three months and that is the starter package that gets them to selling to their first client. So they're earning dollars because the truth is if you can get one client, well, you just have to repeat the process and get two and then three and four and eight and 12, right? That's the first step in the process. So then the next step in the process is to do a 40 week engagement accelerator with us. So once you've got a business and established, it's about growth. That's the, that's the objective. So first is set up and then growth. And it's a 40 week accelerator journey where we teach you the finer points of how to get your brand out there. It's like the MBA after you've done the undergraduate degree. And that process, 10 times your revenue. So what we find is that when you start with us, you might be at zero revenue, but you've got skill. You do a three month process with us and you get up to you know, selling, selling a product to a customer. You run it for a year and you get up to hundred thousand dollars in revenue. That's generally what happens, which is enough to run a business, but it's not enough to have a great lifestyle. So then what we do is we have a 40 week accelerator, which then takes that hundred thousand dollars and makes it a million dollars. And that's where a lifestyle business starts. And we've got a repeatable process. We've had 3,000 people through the accelerator. We've got amazing cases. We know it works. So that's the journey. And then if people want to go on from there, that's great. But that's a whole different discussion, I think. Understandable. So maybe somebody's watching this show right now, Andrew, and is just thinking to themselves, oh, okay, so maybe I've got what it takes to start my own um, you know, enterprise. I've got the experience, but I might need the know-how. How can people get a hold of you so that they can start with the um, uh, process with you guys? Yeah, sure. So the best thing is to uh, go to a website, which is www.socialstar.com.au. And on there is all the details. Now, one thing they probably should do as well is go to my personal website. They can just Google Andrew Ford or www.andrewford.com.au. Because in there, I talk about a lot of other things. It's the entrepreneurial journey, my story. You know, it's a bit more personal. It gives you the, the richness of detail. Because the truth is that although I have a, a great business process at Social Star and with our accelerator, is you know, they need to understand who's behind it. That's the personal branding element. And if they go to my website, they can download my book for free. Uh, I wrote a, a book called Creating a Powerful Brand. They can download that, listen to my podcast, read my blogs, get a sense of our culture and who we work with, you know, because if our values get their values, they can have a great time in our course. So we're looking for people like us. Absolutely. Yes. Like we mentioned earlier on, because obviously people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. This has been an absolute pleasure, um, Andrew. I mean, obviously, you know, you've dropped in your expertise, your knowledge, and also have let us know what your process is so people can get a hold of you. Is there any sort of last words that you might have for those people that are sitting on the fence, don't quite know how to proceed and um, have resolutions for, you know, 2018 to come about, to be their year, but obviously fear is just holding them back and they don't quite know how to, um, you know, jump the fence and start their own thing. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the, the, the hardest thing is making the decision to start. That's, that's always the hardest thing. So we have this thing called decision fatigue, where it's difficult to make every decision in your new business. Should I do a business? Should I not? What, what would it be called? How would I go about it? We get decision fatigue. That's why Steve Jobs wore the same clothes and didn't have any furniture. He saved all his decisions for the important part, which was his business. Now, when you do an MBA, so when I did my MBA, all the decision was, should I do an MBA? It wasn't, what should I do afterwards? You just get in and then they tell you what to do and then you, at the end you get a result. The same thing is with our process. What we say to people is, whether you're thinking of starting a business, 
whether you've left your job and, and you know, considering what to do next, if you join the process, make the decision and then you'll go through and at the end you can make the decision if you can do it or not. Because right now, if you're still sitting in your workplace, you don't know because you don't know what it's like on the other side. You don't understand all of the elements in order to make a decision. So what do I offer for people? If they go to my website, Social Star uh, or Andrew Ford, I'll do a 20-minute phone call with them and, and give them an assessment on their readiness to start a business. It's free. I do it lots of times a day. I just want to help people to make that choice, whether it's now or later, but at least it will give them some indication of, of their readiness. Understandable. There is quite a lot involved and there is never going to be any overnight success when it comes to running a business on your own. So if you're going to be trying to do it on your own, good luck. But if you've got somebody like Andrew Ford, who's going to be holding your hand every step of the way, because we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. And you might have learned all you have, um, you know, while you're in your nine to five, but you haven't learned what it takes to actually run a business that's functional and that creates you know, a lifestyle that you are looking for. So there's people like Andrew that can hold your hand and, you know, they have done all the lessons. They have done all the failures before. So you can just learn from them. So you don't have to repeat the same mistakes that they did. Now, Andrew, I can't thank you enough for your time, your knowledge and your expertise on the show today. And um, hopefully we will be getting some people starting off their businesses and their own lifestyle journey with you there. The, the opportunity prosper. It was good to meet you. Absolutely. Thank you.